Hi friends, welcome to the channel, The Nurse. Here we are discussing about our fifth part of Navodaya Vidyara Samadhi, female staff nurse exam, practice questions and answers. If you are watching this channel first time, please subscribe and uh, please share with your friends also. And we will go to our uh, today's content, Navodaya Vidyala Samadhi, NVS, female staff nurse exam, uh, practice nursing question practice questions and answers fifth part so already we have discussed it four parts so this this one is fifth part so welcome welcome all NB, nbs nursing exam questions 2022 fifth part Uh, if you want more questions means uh, you can uh, uh, go to our android app the nurse academy and you can go to the uh, navode vidyala samadhi model test series uh, there are 10 uh, model test series uh, model test tests are there if you want you can uh, join there the price is 399 for 10 uh, practice test so i am planning to upload uh, more test series in that so you will get more uh, test series, uh, uh, practice tests. So here we will start now. First question. Uh, one, uh, one, one more thing. Here uh, in this video we will discuss mainly nursing questions, general awareness, up to two uh, reasoning questions, general Hindi, English questions. In the nursing topic we will uh, discuss mainly pediatric nursing and sociology questions. In that first question, informal rules that governs behavior in groups and societies. Informal rules that informal rules that govern behavior in groups and societies. Norms, rules, morale, culture. First question. Correct answer is option A that is norms. Informal. It is a informal. Formal means there is a rules and law. Uh, in, it is norms means it is a informal rules that governs behavior in groups and societies. In the same time, role means uh, it is a behavior expected of an individual who occupies a given social position or status. For an example, uh, there is a particular set of uh, uh, behavior pattern for a teacher in your society. Uh, he will be respected persons and he will uh, uh, make a role model in your society. Like a position like father. Father, uh, a pers father, uh, father of a person means uh, he will have a set of behavior. He has to take care of his children. He has to... Uh, uh, he has to be a good uh, husband for his uh, wife like certain behavior pattern for that person that is uh, roles in uh, society morale means morale refers to a team spirit or unity of the group morale means morale third one uh, this is uh, we are discussing morale means it is a uh, it is refers to a team spirit or unity of the group same time culture means culture means it was defined earlier as the symbol language belief values and artifacts that are part of any society symbols language belief values artifacts that are the part of any society that is culture so i think it is clear norms means informal rules that govern behavior in groups and societies roles means uh, the behavior expect the behavior expected of an individual who occupies a given so social position or status morale means it is a team spirit or unity of the group culture means it is uh, symbols language beliefs and artifacts that are part of the society next question the process in which the child becomes socialized through the family in early childhood years that is 
the process in which the child becomes socialized to the family in early childhood years is pre socialization primary socialization secondary socialization not a process of socialization the process in which the child becomes socialized through the family in early childhood the main thing is uh, two terms are there you need to concentrate that is through the family and in early childhood so here correct answer is option b that is primary socialization primary socialization means uh, family is the primary social agent through family uh, through family child become uh, starts to learn uh, socialization that is primary socialization the family is the primary social agent secondary socialization uh, that is through uh, education uh, your friends group or peer groups are some secondary social agents so that is a difference between primary socialization and secondary socialization primary socialization is uh, that is the behavior learning from your early childhood through from your family secondary socialization means uh, that is uh, you are achieving uh, from your education or your friends through the uh, socialization with your friends and your peer groups these are uh, uh, will leads to secondary socialization so next question the rule that one must marry within one's own caste system is the rule that one must marry within one's own caste system is hypogamy endogamy exogamy hypergamy third question the rules that one must marry within one's own caste system is Uh, after understanding the whole term you you can score a, a one mark here because one of the question is usually coming for uh, most of the exams either it will ask hypogamy or uh, endogamy or exogamy or hypergamy so if you understand in the uh, four terms means you can uh, score easily one mark so it is an easy question uh, all of you given correct answer only uh, Jomol, Priyanka, Prachi, Sneha, Jomol, Rani, Rafat, Dayamani, Sneha, Anil Devi, Jisjos, all are given correct answer. That is option B, endogamy. So this is another question. What is hypogamy? Or you can explain one of the other term. Either you can explain hypogamy or exogamy. or hypogamy what is hypogamy or what is exogamy or what is hypergamy okay please try to uh, answer okay jomol uh, has uh, uh, explained lower mar marrying from lower caste from that is hypogamy that is correct only hypogamy is marrying a person from uh, the lower social and economic class than your own that is hypogamy the act of marrying someone of a lower social and economic class than your own that is hypogamy then exogamy exogamy prachi gupta sneha sneha sri priyanka all are given correct answer that is the exogamy means uh, the social norm of marrying outsides one social group Exo exogamy social group may be caste or any other uh, religion like any of uh, social group will be there so marrying a persons outside social group that is 
exogamy, then hypergamy. Okay. Snehasri given correct answer hypergamy. Hypergamy means uh, the action of marrying or forming a sexual relationship with a person of a superior socio sociological or educational background. Uh, two terms you need to remember. The action of marrying or forming a sexual relationship with the person of a superior sociological or educational background that is hypergamy. I think it is clear. Once again, I will explain uh, for understanding. Hypogamy, the act of marrying someone of a lower social and economic class than your own. Then exogamy means the social norm of marrying outside one social group. The social group will be sometimes it is a caste or sometimes it will be a religion like any other social group. Then hypergamy, I told, the action of marrying or forming a sexual relationship with a person of a superior sociological or educational background. So, you understand the four terms here. One of the questions usually will come. So, understand the all four terms. Endogamy, hypogamy, exogamy, hypergamy. Fourth question, an industrial society is marked by an industrial society is marked by social mobility, ascribed status, caste system, primary relationship. An industrial society is marked by or uh, the main characteristics feature of industrial society. Uh, I will tell you what is industrial society means. Industrial society is a society driven by the use of technology and machines to enable mass productions supporting a large population with high capacity for division of labor. Industrial society means it is a social society driven by the use of technology and machinery to enable mass production supporting a large population with a high capacity for division of labor. So, the main characteristic feature of uh, industrial society that is social mobility. The society will uh, change uh, frequently in this uh, industrial society because the persons will come uh, in so, uh, industrial society to get a job or like move, social mobility will be very frequent here in industrial society. That is the main uh, characteristic feature of industrial society. Then fifth question, uh, now uh, sociology questions and uh, finished. Now coming to pediatric questions. Role of pediatric nurse in minimizing loss of control in a hospitalized child include all of the following except. Role of the pediatric nurse in minimizing loss of control in a hospitalized child include all, all the following except. Establishing daily schedule in hospital, promoting freedom of movement, encourage self-care activities within the limit of child, helping children to maintain their usual contact. Uh, you need to read the options carefully. Usually after hospitalization, the children may feel very uh, scared. Uh, with unfamiliar situations and their uh, daily routines, everything will be changed after hospitalization. So that is the way main uh, uh, problems in uh, children after hospitalization. So to reduce this loss of control in a hospitalized children includes all the following interventions except to Uh, so, it is a confusing question. So, correct answer is option D that is helping children to maintain their usual contact. That means usual contact means uh, children may be contact with their uh, 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 colleagues or friends in their uh, neighborhood and uh, school area. But this is we, we cannot uh, provide at hospital. So, that is the only uh, options we cannot provide at hospital. So, other three options, establishing daily schedule after reaching hospital, hospital 
the nurse should uh, uh, make the child to uh, teach the child to uh, daily hospital schedules and from um, one of the main important thing is uh, the movement will be restricted at the hospital usually so uh, the freedom of movement should be allowed within the limit so that will make uh, some positive energy in the ch children and the same time encourage self care activities within the limits of ch child because uh, patient uh, the child may be uh, tired because of illness so within the limit the nurse should promote the self care activities these are the interventions required to minimize the loss of control but helping the children to maintain their usual conduct we cannot provide at the moment because uh, it is uh, we cannot pro uh, the friends and uh, other colleagues and uh, in hospital uh, means that is very difficult to uh, ma manage so except option d all three are uh, we need to give to the ch children to improve the loss of control Sixth question, a form of play in which children play adjacent to each other but do not influence the play of other children. The uh, children are playing uh, together but uh, nobody interfering each other. A form of play in which children play adjacent to each other but do not influence the play of other children. Options, solitary play, onlooker play, parallel play, dramatic play. It is also uh, easy question and you will get uh, four, uh, if you know about this uh, four kind of play means you will get uh, one mark here also because uh, usually some kind of play uh, from a pediatric topic uh, will ask. So you need to understand the all four terms. What is solitary play, onlooker play, parallel play, dramatic play. Okay, I think most of you know the correct answer. Uh, all of you given correct answer only. Uh, majority of you given correct answer only. That is option C, parallel play. In parallel play, the children will play uh, the same area or same uh, uh, place, but they will not interfere each other. Separately, they will play, uh, involve their own play. They will not disturb each other. And the same time, solitary play means Solitary play, can you explain? Anyone can explain? Solitary play means? Solitary play, it is a type of play when children play alone and are uninterested or unaware of other children or adults around them. It is a, a solitary play. Solitary play is a type of play. The children play alone are uninterested in or unaware of other children or adults around them. So you can see this solitary play in uh, early childhood. The children will play and they will not uh, uh, mind the parents or other persons nearby them. They will uh, continuously they will uh, play and uh, the children around them or parents or uh, any other person around them, they will not mind. So that kind of play is known as solitary play. Same time onlooker play that is after little bit improvement then child will go to onlooker play in that onlook uh, it is also known as spectator play onlooker play is also known as spectator spectator play is one of the earliest stage of play when children watch others play but do not join it is a learning period if uh, if uh, you are uh, hope in your house there is two children the younger children will watch the uh, elder children play and he will learn how he is uh, the elder uh, child is playing and then after learning the uh, playing skill he will start to play onlooker play means the learning period the early stage of play when children watch others play but do not join in Parallel play, I explained here, and dramatic play. Dramatic play means uh, it is a type of uh, play 
that is symbolic play where the child pretends to take one uh, take on a role of a someone else imitating actions and speech from earlier observed situations when another person becomes involved in the play it is called socio dramatic play if one person on uh, one child only uh, play means it is called dramatic play there is two person or two children is there means it is called socio dramatic play uh, sometimes they will pretend as the uh, one uh, doctor or sometimes they will uh, pretend or they will act like a, a cook so uh, that kind of play is known as dramatic play if two children are there means it is called socio dramatic play i will explain uh, once again for understanding so solitary play it is a type of play when children play alone and are uninterested and or unaware of other children or adults around them onlooker play means uh, it is also known as spectator play it is one of the earliest stage of play when children watch others play but do not join in dramatic play dramatic play is a form of symbolic play where a child pretends to take on a role of someone else imitating actions and speech from earlier observed situations when another person becomes involved in the play it is called socio dramatic play seventh question it is easiest question in this uh, video the ideal site of administration of intramuscular injection in children less than 18 months of age the ideal site of administration of intramuscular injection in children less than 18 months of age i want everybody need to give correct answer only here the ideal site of administration of intramuscular injection in children less than 18 months of age rectus femoris deltoid dorso gluteal vastus lateralis everyone should uh, learn this question and it is a very 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 repeated question i know you uh, it is a easiest question but never make mistake here this is a repeated question in each and every exam so correct answer is vastus lateralis the ideal site of administration of intramuscular injection in children less than 18 months of age that is vastus lateralis last week my uh, younger child also got uh, injection that is quadravac injection on vastus lateralis site and after uh, one day he become very uh, painful and not walking so Uh, do not make mistake in this question uh, it is a repeated question i am repeatedly telling because mo most of the all exams uh, will uh, asking the same question next eighth one frequency of breastfeeding for a normal newborn frequency of breastfeeding for a normal newborn demand feeding every 30 minutes every hour every 2 hours frequency of breastfeeding for a normal newborn normal newborn i am repeating it is a normal newborn and there will be difference in normal newborn breastfeeding in normal newborn or uh, lower birth weight newborn like difference are there so correct answer is demand feeding in normal newborn whenever uh, child cries then only uh, we, uh, we can give breast feeding so in the same time uh, lower birth weight and all we need to give uh, uh, frequently so usually every 30 minutes or uh, every hour we can promote the breast feeding because the crying episode also will be uh, less in lo uh, lower birth weight child and we need to improve the nutritional status 
So in that case, we need to provide every 30 minutes or every hour uh, feeding. But in a normal newborn case, uh, we can provide demand feeding. Whenever a child cries, then we can provide breastfeeding. Ninth question, a danger sign that a nurse should report while caring newborns, babies in postnatal wards. A danger sign that a nurse should report while caring a newborn babies in postnatal wards. Multiple purely white papule on face, scattered maculopapular rashes on the trunk face and extremities, pigmented grayish blue lesions over the sacral region, yellowish discoloration extending up to palms and soles. And one more request is there. Uh, those who are giving uh, options, they have to give uh, simple explanation for their answer. Why they selected this answer. So if you selected first options means uh, just simply explain. So I think uh, majority of you given uh, option D and can you explain wh why you are selected option D? Yes, Prachi Gupta given, uh, Prachi Gupta Suma Iyata given, somewhat correct answer that is, it is a sign of pathological uh, jaundice. Pathological jaundice will appear within 24 hours. So, postnatal wards means uh, the baby is in first uh, 24 hours of uh, uh, early stages of uh, birth. So, it is uh, usually it indicates uh, maybe a pathological jaundice and it is already uh, mentioned that extending up to palms and soles. The jaundice if extending palms and soles means it's, it's already the buildup level is already high. Usually, uh, we can in early stages we can assess the jaundice in the uh, sclera and the trunk, chest part. But if it is extend up to uh, palms and uh, soles, means the buildup level is uh, little higher. So that is a dangerous sign. So that is why the nurse should report if there is a yellowish discoloration extending up to palms and soles. There may be a chance of pathological jaundice and the bilirubin level may be high. It will lead to carnicterus. So, correct answer, yellowish discoloration extending up to palms and soles. Tenth question, while carrying a low birth weight baby weighing less than 2 kg, the nurse should do all the following except while carrying a low birth weight baby weighing less than 2 kg, the nurse should do all the following except. Except which one will not do? Options encourage Kangaroo mother care, weigh the baby daily, bath the baby daily, monitor vital signs fourth hourly. So which one will not do? Then the question, here also uh, I need a, li a little explanation for your answer. Yeah, Jomor given correct answer uh, because uh, in low birth weight baby, there will not be fat, brown fat will not be there, already weight is less and if we are giving bath uh, bath for the baby daily or we are giving bath also, it will lead to hypothermia. Hypothermia is known as a silent killer of infants. In order to prevent hypothermia, uh, there is no need for daily bath, in especially in low birth weight baby. All other Interventions are required for LBW, low birth weight baby and except daily bath. 
बिकॉज डेली बाथ में कोस हाइपोथर्मिया Uh, the term you should remember hypothermia is a silent killer in infants okay so correct answer here option c bath the baby daily it will cause hypothermia so you should not give daily bath for uh, especially in the low birth weight baby now coming to uh, general awareness or uh, general uh, Uh, current affairs questions uh, first question it is from physics when a ray of light travels from a sparse medium to a dense denser medium when a ray light ray of light travels from a sparse medium to a dense medium options moves in a straight direction turns back bends more vertically moves away from vertical uh i know it is a little tougher question so uh no delay yeah it will divergent reflection so Option C is correct answer. Sumala sum, Sumala the given correct answer. Uh, correct answer here. Uh, when light ray uh, light rays travels uh, like uh, straight line, then the medium dense medium comes means again it will go to vertically. So that is the difference in the direction. So option C is the correct answer. Twelfth question: Which device is used to measure atmospheric humidity? Which device is used to measure atmospheric humidity? Hydrometer, hygroscope, hygrometer, hydrophone. Which device is used to measure atmospheric humidity? correct answer is hygrometer hygrometer is used to measure atmospheric humidity 13th question what kind of energy is contained in a dry cell what kind of energy is contained in a dry cell dry cell means that is a common uh, battery we are using in a, uh, our clock uh, remote control these are all examples of dry cells what kind of energy is contained in a dry cell mechanical chemical thermal electrical correct answer is option b that is chemical uh, it is contained chemical energy Uh, when it is connected to the device it will change into electrical energy inside the dry cell it is a chemical energy when it is connected to device it will change into electrical energy that is uh, because of the uh, electron difference then 14th question who invented the rabies vaccine and pasteurization of milk who invented the rabies vaccine and pasteurization of milk louis pasteur ivanovsky leuven hock w watson easy question from the name itself you can understand pasteurization of milk <laughs> okay okay a uh, correct answer is option a louis pasteur Louis Pasteur pasteurization. From his name only, the uh, pasteurization came. Fifteenth question: Which instrument is used to measure the height of the planes? Which you instrument is used to measure the height of the planes? 
ഓഡോമീറ്റർ അമ്മീറ്റർ ആൾട്ടിമീറ്റർ ഓഡിയോമീറ്റർ വിച്ച് ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെന്റ് ഈസ് യൂസ് ടു മെഷർ ദ ഹൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദി പ്ലെയിൻ Correct answer is option C, altimeter. Altimeter is used to measure the height of the planes. 16th question, which of the following is measured by pedometer? Which of the following is measured by pedometer? Sea depth, atmospheric pressure, earthquake intensity, purity of milk. 16th question, Which of the following is measured by pedometer? Sea depth, atmospheric pressure, earthquake, intense, earthquake intensity, purity of milk. Correct answer is sea depth. A pedometer is used to measure the depth of the sea. Now, uh, it is coming uh, reasoning question. Reasoning question, uh, that is odd one out. type of question which word does not belong with belong with others which word does not belong with others inch ounce centimeter yard so you need to find the odd one inch ounce centimeter yard and kindly give explanation also then only others also will understand correct answer is option b ounce so can you explain why you selected ounce what is the uh, difference ounce with others correct clara uh, clara shifa saundarya sambath etc given correct and uh, correct explanation that is ounce is a measure of volume or weight ounce is a measure of volume or weight or ounce is usually uh, in medicine and all liquid medicine and all we are uh, measuring in ounce ounce uh, cup same time inch centimeter yard etc are ex uh, example that is used to measure the length ounce it is used to measure the volume or weight of the uh, things but other things inch centimeter yards etc used to measure the length now 18 the 18th question which word does not belong with others tire steering wheel engine car it is easy which word does not belong with others okay correct answer is option d car only because tire steering wheel engine are parts of car here uh, option d is a car itself so that is why it is different from others 19th question yard is to inch a squat is to yard is to inch a squat is to gallon ounce milk liquid yard is to inch a squat is to uh here the options slightly uh, made confusing 
So think before answering. Yard is to inch. The same way quart is to. Correct answer is option B, ounce. Why it is? Because yard is used to measure, yard and inch is used to measure length only. Yeah, yard is larger than inch. Yard is larger than inch. That is 36 inch means 1 yard. 36 inch equal to yard. That is yard is larger than inch. Same way, quart. Quart will be larger than ounce. Because one quart is equal to 32 ounce. That is why gallon means it is also used to measure uh, liquid or uh, liquids only. But it is larger than quart. That is why ounce comes a correct answer here. Yard is larger than inch, same way quart is larger than ounce. Uh, this one uh, is little descriptive type question that is train, uh, train speed uh, distance questions. So I will explain after giving answer. Just for your understanding, the length of bridge, the length of bridge which a train which a train 130 meters long and traveling at 45 km per hour can cross in 30 seconds. Then you need to find the length of the bridge. 20th question, it is uh, you need to write and find the answer. Options 200 meter, 225 meter, 245 meter, 250 meter. Okay, anyway, correct answer is option C 245 meter. I will show you uh, the way how to find out the answer. The same way you need to uh, try or you need to uh, write in your, a paper and uh, solve it. Then only you will become uh, uh, faster in uh, sol solving these kind of uh, questions. Usually one question uh, uh, will come regarding this uh, train speed and uh, uh, spe uh, speed or distance uh, like uh, questions will come. So you need to find out the solution very faster because it will uh, take more time. So I will show you the whole steps one by one and later you can uh, reduce the steps by finding uh, easily. If you st uh, start solving means you can reduce uh, some of the steps. So first step speed speed of the train that is 45 km per hour 45 km per hour the speed of the train first you need to change the kilometer per hour into meter per second to change uh, kilometer per hour to meter per second you need to multiply with 5 by 18 to change kilometer per hour to meter per second, you need to multiply uh, the speed with 5 by 18. So, the speed will be 45 multiplied by 5 by 18. Then, the answer will come 25 by 2. Because uh, in 14, 45 and 18, 9 is the common factor. And so, in 45, there will be uh, 5, 9. 5 into 5, 25. In 18, 2 nines are there. So, 25 by 2 meter per second. The speed of the train, that is 25 by 2 meter per second. In question, we got 45 kilometer per hour. We changed that into meter per second. Then next step, time it is already mentioned, that is 30 seconds. The, tri the train takes 30 seconds to cross the bridge. 
now uh, we know the how to find the speed that is distance by time we should find the distance so in that distance bridge distance we don't uh, it is not given so we can consider the distance that is in x meters the bridge distance we can consider it is x then speed equal to distance by time so 130 plus x 130 is the length of the train plus the uh, length of the bridge that is x then whole divided by 30 i mentioned x by 30 but it is whole divided by 30 30 means time so distance is 130 plus x and uh, time is 30 seconds and the sp uh, speed already given that is 25 by 2 meter per seconds in that we need to uh, find out the value of x that is uh, the length of the bridge because uh, to cross a train the train needs to uh, uh, travel the length of the train plus bridge br uh, length of the bridge that is length of the uh, train is 130 meter and uh, br bridge length it is x meters and total distance will be 130 plus x so in that while solving uh, 25 by 2 2 we, we are taking uh, this side so 2 multiplied by 130 plus 6 equal to 750 750 means 25 multi uh, this uh, whole divided by 30 will come into uh, opposite side so 25 by 30 equal to 750 2 multiplied by 130 plus x equal to 750 in that we can easily find out the x value uh, 260 plus 2x equal to 750 2x equal to 750 this uh, 260 we are taking into uh, opposite side so the positive 260 will come here uh, negative so 750 minus 260 that is equal to 490 2x equal to 490 x equal to 490 divided by 2 that is 245 meters so i have given all the step uh, so you, if you uh, after you are uh, familiar with uh, this kind of questions means you can reduce the uh, this many steps and you can directly go into the uh, uh, final step Uh, it is not visible means uh, maybe uh, because of the uh, network speed ye save ho jayega is uske ye video ke baad save save hoga aapko iske baad to dekh ke solve kar sakta hai so that is about uh, our reasoning and aptitude question then we are coming into uh, Hindi questions. Hindi questions means uh, you need to find the one word replacement of the uh, Hindi uh, sentence. So, 22nd question. Jo pehle kabhi na hua ho. Jo pehle kabhi na hua ho. So, you need to find one word replacement from the options. Options A. Adbud. Option B. Abudpur. Option C, Apurv. Option D, Anupam. One word replacement. Jo pahle kabhi na hua ho. Correct answer is option B, Abudapur. Abuda Purvi is the one word replacement of Jo Pale Kabi Na Hua Ho. 23rd question Jiski Garden Sundar Hai. Jiski Garden Sundar Hai. One word replacement Sudarshan, Sugat, Sugarden, Sugriv. Jiski Garden Sundar Hai. 23rd question
करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी सुग्रीव जिसकी गर्दन सुंदर है वन वर्ड दैट इज सुग्रीव ट्वेंटी फोर्थ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जनरल इंग्लिश क्वेश्चन साउंडिंग द सेम बट स्पेल्ट डिफरेंटली द वर्ड्स साउंडिंग द साउंडिंग सेम बट स्पेल्ट डिफरेंटली सिंफोनियस होमोफोनस सिनोनियम्स सैमिनिमोस फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल रोल roll and roll i will write here this we will uh, spell roll same time this also we will spell roll but it will uh, spelt differently sorry it will sound same but spelt differently so that kind of words uh, there will be a common word is there sounding the same but spelt differently that means homophonous homophonous means sounding the same but spelt differently so here uh, the roll road both uh, sounds will same only but spell spelling is different r o l e r o d l so that kind of words known as homophonous then last question antonym for rabid antonym means opposite word antonym for rabid synonym for same uh, uh, meaning antonym means opposite word options frantic sober chavos vulgar rabid means uh, it is extreme extremist fanatic radical revolutionary revolutionist ultra these are the meaning of rabid so you need to find the opposite word of rabid correct answer is option b that is sober antonym of rabid means sober sober means uh, calm person like uh, person uh, is known as sober so that is about today's video and if you have any doubt means you can ask in comment section and please uh, those who are watching first time means please uh, subscribe and share uh, the video please share with uh, your friends and uh, your colleagues and uh, i know it is a late uh, night so bye bye good night best wishes